Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Modulus. Now this is a factory game, sort of like shapes, but with a huge difference, uh, which I'll get to in a minute. Let's start a new game. We'll call the new save. Tell us now, Matt, because you guys can't wait to hear what the difference is, I'm sure. And right, this is our little voxel world. Oh, did you see the shine on those solar panels? Oh, shiny. But yeah, we got to come over here. We've got these little blocks of ore where we've got to put mining things on. That's what the green is. It's just telling me where to put them. So if we just build these, on top of there then we'll start mining some blocks out of these and um, we'll do the same over this way as well boosh 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 and then if we come down here we can build a furnace you can see this building has two inputs and one output so we'll plonk that there then we can just use conveyor belts to plug into the back of them and then plug into the back of that so you can now see these miners they're making like these little cube things so they'll go into this furnace we'll just plonk the conveyor out this side that it wants and look this huge huge cube comes out of them. Now, this is where the game sort of gets a little bit different because rather than just like combining different different resources, we can place this cutter thing down. Look, you can see it's got a huge blade on top. If we head into this, we can measure using these lasers how we want this cut. So at the moment, if we cut it like this way, this is what we'll end up with out on the right. We can then select like different ones of these. So we want to go with that one to cut it in half, but like we can rotate. And obviously because it's a cube, rotating won't do anything. But as you start requiring different shapes you're gonna have to utilize this to try and make them and then once they come out of there and be cut they can be assembled into different shapes so i've just built an assembler we'll just do the conveyor belt and you can see this assembler has two inputs so we're gonna put a splitter down like that conveyor belt into that and then in here is where it gets really cool because we can basically do whatever we want in here so these are what the inputs are coming so we can grab like this we can then like rotate it so the game wants me to to make Make that sort of shape first so we'll do that yeah that looks good so we can then confirm this then we can use that to create one of these a gray core facility boosh so if we click on this you can see the different modules we need to build it so we need these ones which thankfully we've just made but we're also going to need these ones so we're gonna have to try and make these somehow uh, for now though let's just take the ones that we have so we can do a conveyor belt along this side then we can click on the building and say add a crane and then if we just shove cranes there then look the modules we've made are taken inside and you can see on top it's being put together but we need the vertical columns so top right we can pin that recipe and then try and work out how to make this so we're going to come down here we're going to use the splitter because we can take what we already have and just do a bit of rotating and splitting and we should be good so shove a cutter there inside in this cutter if we just rotate it forward and then that way and then cut it into two so you can see it gets cut down the middle ends up looking like this then we can just do more conveyor belts out the back and then we can add more cranes and you can just make them rather than go to that front conveyor they go to the back conveyor and then we're craning those in as well so this should get built in no time All right in the meantime we can build one of these harvester pads so let's shove that down there you can then click on this and we can assign a drone to a building so we click on that we then click on this and then and look the drones come over to here and basically once this building is completed we'll make these pentagons and the drone will take the pentagons from here over to this station where we can then convey them to somewhere else because we're going to need them to create this building the gray bot assembly so nice we got some pentagons on here so let's just add cranes like that so that's all set up however we actually need to build the building first so in order to do that we need these which i think we were already making right oh no look they weren't they weren't the same they were too thick so i think let's head back to here we can probably utilize these i mean i could add more more mines to these ones but i feel like this is quite backed up so what i'm wondering if i were to like remove that take these conveyors that way and then just put a splitter like there does this furnace slow down significantly oh it does oh it actually does okay i was hoping four would service one one furnace but it looks like you do need eight blimey okay so never mind we'll put those back in we'll build new harvesters so we've got eight over here so let's just get some extractors facing that direction do that for those ones right, and then if i want to merge these together i think i can literally just come out this way merge you onto there then we've got that ready this one can go there with those coming in so now we can bung a furnace down like that so out here we get the cubes coming out so then we can plonk the cutter down and then i think we just want to do pretty much what we did last time no no i'll do what i did last time so we cut it into two like that so then out of here 
becomes that shape. So then we can merge those together by plonking a splitter down. I'm just doing conveyors so we can see like exactly what's happening at each stage. So we get those out. That goes into an assembler. So in here, we can just rotate, rotate that one. So we end up with one of these. I mean, actually, I could do it that direction instead. So then we have those shapes come out. Then we want to shove that into a cutter and yeah, cut it along that line. And then that's the shape that we need for that. So we'll confirm that. And then out here, we've got that shape, which we've now just got to get down to here. So it will just convey it down to this point. Add a couple of cranes. And then as these come down, they get plonked in like that. Decent. Uh, next up, looks like these are backing up pretty fast. What else did we need for this? We want a column, but it's a different color. Hence, we're going to need this building here, which paints them. And there's only one of two colors you can paint them. So white or black. So we'll just select black. You can see it's got the black paint on top. So we've just got to get columns out of this. Now, because this is all backed up, I think it makes sense to split you that way. And then we take these over here. So we've got them. We then want to cutter these, right? So we do that. You can say flip it that direction and then that direction and then cut it by two. So that gives us the columns. And then out of here, the columns come out. They get painted black and we can bring them down to here. And then we can just add cranes up to that point. And then the black columns are going in. So that should allow us to complete this building. You can see all the other plates. I think they're already in now. So yeah, look, there's the columns. There's the columns going in. Right. Anyway, this building is now completed. Oh, look at that little sign. It sort of looks like a cow, although not as much as cow gang. Does anyone remember cow gang? Yes, I'm remembering loads of old references from like my channel, like from its past, uh, mostly because of my super secret unannounced trading card game. But yeah, anyway, anyway, forget I said that it's super secret and unannounced. So anyway, this creates gray bot out of the, the gray cores we've got. Um, but it's going to require a lot of them. So we need to sort of double our gray core input. Now we've been given access to the duplicate tool. So what we can do, we can just duplicate this building. This duplicates this and all the cranes. I imagine we're going to want to build a whole new system. So yeah, I'll probably just put this down here for now. And then, oh yeah, because then I can copy like, and copy all of this. This is like the chain. I can then bung that there. And if I just convey that forward, convey that forward, then all I gotta do is hook up some of these extractors. So one, two, three, four for the right one. Just hook up all of those. And one, two, three, four for the left one. Hook up all of those. And that's more cores being built, the pentagons. So I just gotta duplicate this drone thing again. I mean, actually, can I duplicate like that? And then can I mirror this? Yes, I can. So then rotate it to like there. And then we have basically the same setup. We just gotta click on this, assign a drone. You can see when we select this building, it adds like the little drone port thing. And then we add cranes to there. And and then we've doubled how many cores are getting down to here. So from the Greybot factory, if we then come down and build another harvester pad, we can then link these two together so we can use Greybots to go forward. So if we just link a drone to there, then boxes of the cows come into there and then they will come out the front here. Nice. We can then build one of these, a depot, where we've got to input bots to meet objectives. So because this has so many inputs, I imagine this is quite important. So let's shove it over this way where there's a bit of space out in every direction. All right. So we've got that built. You can see the bots. Oh, look at the little bots. So they go into the depot. Uh, top left, we've got to deliver at least 50. So that is working on that. We've also been sent a blue pigment refinery so we can make things blue. So that's cool. By the way, you can upgrade buildings. So if we come over to this building, we have this upgrade button. Now that will take a little time to upgrade. It's also worth noting we've got to actually build it again. So let's just check the requirements. Looks like we've got all the modules coming in that we needed. That's not new. But you can see we're adding extra floors to this. And once that's done, this will produce the bots faster. So nice. While that's doing that, let's have a look at this blue pigment thing. So down in our buildings tab down here, we have the blue pigment refinery. So all that requires a whole load of modules that we haven't got yet. So it should probably get to work on all of those. Let's pin these up here just so we know what we're doing. And then we'll choose somewhere to build this. Now I might go across this 
Bridge. Oh, it's a bridge. You know what that means? We need a bridge review. It's a stone arch bridge across a canyon. With incredible girth, it means the plants on the side will not have a negative impact structurally. The bridge includes safety barriers and lights so that helicopters can't fly into it. And this bridge allows us to connect over this way, which has loads of these blue crystals, which I imagine we can use to paint things blue. Overall, I give this bridge a chonky 8.4 out of 10. Bridge review. Yeah, fair play. Oh, a lot of nice features on that bridge. Anyway, the blue stuff, let's get this over, over here-ish. I'm sure it will be fine there. I like that the buildings come with like little grass thing around the outside. All right, so if we want to build these, let's just start with this. This, this looks like the easiest thing to build. So we're going to need a load of extractors. So there's four for one side. I mean, should I do four from that side? Yeah, get those all in. There we go. So I'm then going to copy the furnace and the cutter so we'll plonk those there so out of here we've got that shape so do we need i think we need that cut in half oh man it's going to be it's going to be a lot of work i think so the assembler goes next so actually if i just put that there and put a splitter just into the back like that then we can just merge those together like that and then we want a cutter straight afterwards so that cuts it to that shape i'm also i'm also wondering as well should my painter be back here paint it from the start or oh, maybe not because i'll need no i'll need those white yeah i think we paint it we paint it at the end so out of here let's just check we've got that shape so we're going to need white ones of those oh we also need oh how am i going to do that strip i can cut this up i think or i can come off there perhaps i don't know <laughs> there's so many like different ways you could build these shapes. But yeah, right. Let's just do a splitter for now. So that's going to be that one that we need. I can then split this again again and then paint one black so that coming out of these two we have the white one we have the black one so we can merge them together in an assembler so like that so in here we just remember building we're building this one so we just plonk those next to each other then they can go down that way i assume this has a long reach here yeah, it does so now they are being added to to the building so meanwhile with this one this we have those so if we want to try and turn it into this i think we need two of them stacked up and then painted black which probably doesn't matter but it probably saves them paint to paint them first right before they get split or like before they get merged together or maybe it doesn't matter at all don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna do it first though so we do that we then split to there and then we add an assembler because in this one we're gonna take them we're gonna flip them i must be bad at this okay <laughs> flip them that way and then shove them next to each other and then i believe that's what we need so we can take that out down there and then we just add a crane from those two so nice then those parts of the building are being built so for the last one we've just got to build these uh, now what i could do actually i think i could just split these off so if i just put a splitter like there say i think i'll then have to do another splitter there just so we've got enough inputs into the assembler but oh no we don't want assembler hang on hang on go back go back sorry delete that delete that splitter we just need a cutter don't we because yeah in the cutter we can just rotate it that direction then that direction so that we end up with these and then we assemble them together so out of this we want a splitter then assembler this isn't going to be very efficient is it? but yeah with this assembler we can just rotate you that direction shove you down rotate you the same but that way and sandwich those two together sort of like a like an oreo oh yeah it's just a double oreo mm, the double o then that means out of here we can just plonk those down to there and that is the shape we needed. So crane into there. And yes, they are the pillars going in. So nice. While that's going on, I'm going to come back over this way and probably upgrade stuff. I mean, I can upgrade this again, can I? So yeah, upgraded that again. So that makes bots even faster. Not really sure what I need the bots for. I've delivered 120 gray bots already though. But nice. Back over this way. It looks like this, this painting building is done. So this will create blue pigment as long as we deliver from the blue crystals. So let's add you there, you there, and then just just bring this down like that. Add cranes in like that. And then you can see the little blue crystals coming along this conveyor. And they should go in, get eaten. And then this building is now kicking. Right, okay. Next up, we can use this to paint stuff blue which we'll need to do to make this blue core factory so similar to what we had before but rather than gray they're blue so we'll shove that there and to build this hang on let me just remove those pins we'll pin all of these so we need this note there's a hole in the middle and um, which obviously we could build by using a, like an assembly putting like long sticks together but 
we now have this, a stamper. So let's just get a load of extractors on here. And then we can start looking at how to make these shapes. So for this one, I think we just want to make the classic. So we'll copy the furnace over to make the cube. Copy all this stuff so we're making this shape. Then we want to paint it blue. So we got a painter here. So if we've got the shape coming in there, we've got to get the paint in down there. Now, if we want to get the paint out of here, we're going to need a harvester pad. So let's just shove that down there. We can then link this to the paint building. And then drones should take boxes of paint from here. Oh man, they move slow. Oh, they move so slow. But yeah, that's picked up the paint. So that should come into here, which means out this way, once the paint's been delivered, we should get our blue block, which we can then shove into a stamper. So if we shove our stamper there, no conveyor belts in this. We don't mess around, but we can then flip like that. And then we can choose what we want to stamp. So if we stamp that, we end up with the two parts. So the bottom part is that one, but then the top part is the, the inside of that one. So if we confirm that, we should have one of them come out one way and the other one come out the other way. Sweet. So this one is done, ready to be connected to this building. For the other one though, we're going to need some stuff from up here. Now the question is, are these only... No, they are made to make paint, aren't they? I'm just wondering whether I could like split off some of these and not paint them or something. What I could do, I could split off from here and then I could use the, the monotone painter to paint them white so that out here we have the white ones. That's the 16 that we want. But 16! Right, and then can we use tunnels? What sort of length do tunnels allow us to go? Oh, not that far. Okay, tell you what, I'll take it this way and I'll tunnel under under these. No bridges for conveyors, only tunnels. But yeah, I'll bring that up to here. And then I'm going to bring it down this way over to there. And what I'm going to do is on here is where I'm going to split it. So that half of these can be collected in using the the cranes and then the other half come down here where they can be like cut up let's just shove a cutter down this side and then we just say cut into four pieces rotate that way and that's the shape that we need because we can combine that with the blue down here and we're merged into an assembler we can just say flatten that shove you on top like that confirm and then that's what we need for this one right yeah nice so add crane there and that put those in then we've just got to get this holy guy over so i'm gonna have to use tunnels for this because some idiot built in my weight so tunnels like that and then we can just crane in from those two places that was a really inefficient way of doing this i think <laughs> but it's done it is done uh, oh trouble is though taking it from over here has massively slowed down this process which might mean we're making paint slower now because we're now waiting for this still this building's being constructed fairly quick over this way look at the <laughs> look at all the cow gang propaganda so this can't be upgraded anymore can i upgrade like any of the other stuff i can upgrade the gray core facility i think may as well can i upgrade any of these like smaller ones no i can't upgrade the extractors no okay so you can only upgrade like the actual buildings like the buildings from here so that's good to know also it looks like there's purple red and like a yellowy golden color for like the other colors so probably going to get super complex uh, for now though how long till this is Built. We just need three more of the of the added ones. So there's one of them and there's another one. So yeah, just need one more now. So we'll just pay attention to this conveyor belt here. Right, there it goes. There's the last piece. So that will complete the building. Oh yeah, look, it's a little roof bit. And nice, that's the end of the demo. So this is all what's coming. Much bigger map, a huge tech tree, way more colors and stuff. Oh yeah, I quite like that. It, it's sort of like shapes, but like 3D. And I know like shapes 2 was 3D shapes, but it wasn't. It was just 2D shapes still. These are like, oh, it's almost like a Lego factory. But yeah, I like this. I like this. It's fun. It also looks very, very pretty, by the way. Fair play. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, boost your like button for now. I'll say peace, love, and cow gang or die. Bye.